what happened when I touched his tail. Hi, this is Frank of the Ocho Verde Wildlife Channel. Welcome back to our series of the snakes we found in a 30 day period in Costa Rica. Remember, this is how we found the snakes. We haven't posed them. It's just me and my camera. As soon as I see the snakes, I turn the camera around and turn it on. And with about a 15 or 20 second window, you're seeing the snakes exactly as I saw the snakes. Anyway, let's get to them. Big old snake. This is a uh, bird snake. Good size. Fairly aggressive. Let's see how this one's gonna act. Kind of kinked up like a uh, North American rat snake. I'm not sure. Oh, he's here looking at the eggs. He's here looking at the duck eggs. That's what he's doing. Huh. We knew that a snake would come by looking for these eggs at some point. Let's see if we can get a close-up of this guy. He doesn't look too far away from being ready to shed. Got a big tick. You see it right there? I suppose we could catch him if we wanted to. He's been eating something. I don't know if that's egg on the side of his mouth or not. Got a pretty good wound where this tick is. Look, he doesn't perceive me as a threat. He's going to look for these, continue to eat these eggs. His eye looks shitty. I'm sorry, Bubba, the possum beat you to it. What happened when I touched his tail? The snake is not, it does not have very good eyes at all. All right, we're gonna let it go. It's beautiful though. Okay, here we are in the Ocho Verde jungle night hike. We have a really cool snake up here. It is called the red-eyed tree snake, Cephalophus compressus. Way cool.
this is a juvenile or a sub-adult I should say ironically this is a uh, the same place we found another one a few years ago, or about two years ago. Beautiful yellow head. Sitting here on the palm leaf. So I've been sick all day from some food poisoning, but I felt I wanted to get out of the house. Uh, I'm glad I did, because beautiful red-eyed tree snake. Cyphlopus compressus. Non-venomous. This is a sub-adult. They get about twice as big mainly feeding on lizards about I don't know three four feet off the ground on a little palm leaf way way cool way way cool there's your payload One meter off the ground. If I had to guess, I would say this Tercio Palo has just had a decent meal. Pretty big chunk in the stomach there. Cat eye snake, northern cat eye snake, right out here in the yard. Hey, so we're uh, in the Ocho Verde stream and we've got our first snake of the night. I'm not exactly sure what type it is. I can't see it very well. I can see it better uh, in the camera. It looks like it's not even a snake. It may be a basilisk. I'm going to get the hook and pull it down and see if we can take a little better look. Once again, we do have our first snake of the night, for sure. It's a blunt head tree snake.
Pretty cool. Well, this is unusual, but we have a dead snake. This is a uh, tree boa, Pacific uh, tree boa or black tail boa. Doesn't look emaciated or anything. And it wasn't here last night, as far as I can tell. It's too bad we don't have a lot of these tree boas around. Curious to know what happened. Probably never know. All right, got a big old, big old Tercio Palo. Pretty amazing right here. Oh yeah.